man, what a game. That was really, really good. What's going on guys? If you want to support our content and pick up this month's amazing Patreon rewards, you can do so at patreon.com slash it resolves. If you're interested in custom playmats and sleeves, visit yourplaymat.com and use code ITRESOLVES10YP for 10% off your entire purchase. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to some more standard gameplay videos. Before we jump into this, if you are not already, please feel free to subscribe. It really would mean a lot. All of you newcomers, welcome to our amazing little community. We are very fortunate to have you, and we're very happy that you decided to watch our video today. So please feel free, like the video if you enjoy it, and let's jump right in. We have got Is It Control today. It's a pretty straightforward list. We know how Is It Control generally works, which is mostly by burning out a lot of the early game stuff with things like Dragon's Fire, Burning Hands, Shatter Skull Smashing, even Prismari Command dealing a couple damage to any target, uh, and then all the while hopefully drawing our way and countering our way into some bigger things like Goldspan Dragon and Alron's Epiphany. Now the one new, one of the major additions to this list is Smoldering Egg, a 0-4 defender for two. Uh, which sounds not that great. However, as you cast instant and sorcery spells, uh, you put the number of ember counters on this equal to the amount of mana spent to cast the instants or sorceries. Once you have seven or more ember counters on it, you actually flip it into a 4-4 flyer uh, that whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you deal two damage to any target. So the idea is that you're able to spread your damage out. If you're against a very heavy creature deck, you can try and burn some things out. If not, you can just burn the opponent out and hopefully win the game that way. So Ashmouth Dragon, a very, very good little finisher for this list that we can get down early, hopefully block for a little while uh, and then get somewhere late game. Obviously, Obviously, Goldspan Dragon, tried and true, very, very solid threat. Uh, gives us those treasure tokens as well that work very well with uh, Prismari Command, which can also spit out those little treasure tokens. Uh, and then All Runs Epiphany, a great way to take an extra turn and hopefully get some extra damage in. So truthfully, this is a fairly straightforward list. There's not a ton to talk about here. We're just going to try and jump into it, see how it goes. Uh, I did want to mention we do have the man lands here. So we've got two of each of the, the, the Hall of the Storm Giants as well as the Den of the Bugbear both of which are very, very helpful for us. It just gives us a way to attack in if we don't happen to have a creature or block, truthfully, if we need to. So uh, I think right now we're just going to jump right in. We're going to see how this one goes. Uh, this list was taken from MTG Goldfish. I should mention that before we jump into it. I did not create this list, but this is a very straightforward one. And so I thought I would try this one out first uh, and then maybe see if we want to make any adjustments in a future video or something like that. So without further ado, guys, let's jump into our first game. Let's see how it goes. And here we are, guys, for our first game. Uh, this is not a great hand, unfortunately. Uh, if we did have a red source, I would be very apt to keeping this because it has quite a number of different threats here. But I think we're going to have to mulligan. Uh, not ideal, but it is what it is. Uh, now, this we can certainly keep. It's a little slow, but uh, I think it's OK. What do we throw back here is my question. Uh, it might honestly just be the expressive iteration here. All of these cards are quite good for us, so we'll see what the opponent actually ends up doing. Worth noting that because this is a control deck, naturally, a lot of what we'll be doing is playing and passing, uh, which is fine by me. Uh, it just gives us a little bit of uh, a little bit of flexibility with whatever the opponent may or may not do. Uh, we're just going to leave up uh, either the burning hands here can deal two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If it happens to be green, it'll deal six instead. Not super likely here. Uh, and then of course, dragon fire just dealing three to basically anything. Uh, put any number of them into your graveyard and the rest. Okay, cool. Uh, very good. Ah, okay. This is a dragon's approach deck. Ah, very, very interesting. Well, in that case, uh, that's a little scary, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think I think we're just going to foretell this for now. What this does next turn is it opens up the possibility of leaving up a burn spell plus Behold the Multiverse. Yes, we don't get to leave up a burn spell this turn, but I think that's actually okay. Uh, my assumption is they're just going to want to be dragons approaching for as much as they can here. Yeah, and it looks like that is the case. Um, we'll play this out for blue, and I think we just kind of have to hope for the best here. Scrying two and drawing two is quite helpful, um, so my hope is that we're able to get something here. 
Uh, but we'll see. Otherworldly Gaze is fantastic for this Dragon's Approach deck. Um, how many is it that they need? Exile four other... Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's very scary. Um, let's go ahead and do this. That is a sorcery just to, to throw that one out there, which is very helpful. You know, honestly, I am going to draw the Dragon's Egg. It doesn't seem that great. Um, however, it is a card that we can just play. Uh, which is very useful at the moment. Uh, and I will Expressive Iteration this turn as well. Uh, let's put Prismari Command into our hand. That seems very, very good. We'll throw this, and then uh, this one we can actually just play out here. We are going to want to play things on the red side at this point, because at some point we're just going to have to burn a big old dragon and hope that we can double up and, and kill them. So we will see, uh, but this is uh, very, very scary for sure. Okay. Dragon's Fire, sure. Get rid of that Smoldering Egg. That's not great for us, but it's not the end of the world either. They're not doing a ton at the moment. I mean, they're filling their graveyard, so when they play a Dragon's Approach, they will be able to make it work. However, uh, at the moment at least, there's not a ton going on. Um, I think we just take the opportunity to play this tapped, most likely. Uh, we can scry with these, but it costs so much to scry. Uh, that we truthfully, the only time we'd want to do it is at the end of their turn when we're able to then untap again. Um, we haven't had a great opportunity to do that quite yet, so we'll see what happens here. Um, I fully expect we're going to be running into some major, major issues here soon. Uh, but we'll do the best we can. We're just here to have a good time anyway, so no worries at all. Now, one thing we can do is Prismari Command uh, to draw two and then discard two cards. Not a bad way to go, because uh, we do have some very big hits that we would like to get. Uh, we could also then create a treasure token, of course, which would uh, help ramp us into whatever it is that we happen to draw. Um, but we are going to then have to discard a couple of cards, and I don't know how how likely it is that we want to do that. Um, but we'll see. I'm assuming they just don't have a Dragon's Approach in hand, because at this point they really should be playing the Dragon's Approaches. <laughs> um, okay. Sure. So something we can do is destroy their treasure token and uh, draw to ourselves. Don't know if we really want to do that though, truthfully. Uh, I think we'd rather create our own treasure token. Um, okay, there's that. Sure. <laughs> I mean, the other option is just describe, but I think I think we are going to do this. We're going to draw two and create a treasure token. Obviously, both on us. See what we can get. Um, interesting. OK, so we'll discard this and I think we'll actually discard this. Shatter Skull Smashing, perfectly fine, but not really what we're looking for here. Um, and this is going to allow us to then saw it coming here, which I, I do like quite a bit. We also do get the man land down here. So next turn, regardless of what we draw, we should at least have some kind of play. Um, perfect. We get to just straight up counter this, which is very, very solid. And now that is not a problem. Oh, and there's the Alron's Epiphany. Uh, well, that's very, very good. So let's do this. Let's do this. We are just going to take the extra turn here. Kind of get a little bit of advantage on them, uh, if possible. Let's activate you. Uh, and let's attack in. Uh, it's a pretty big swing. I mean, it's not uh, it's not a win by any means, but uh, it certainly is something that they're going to have to think about. We've got plenty of damage on board here. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, luckily... Uh, we actually can just kill this with the double dragon's fire here, so I'm not terribly concerned about it. Granted, we can only do so much here. Uh, we do lose quite a bit of momentum if we do this, but I think it's just the right play. Uh, I don't really think we've got too many other options here, so let's do this. Let's do this. I guess we should have waited for them to invest mana in it. That might have been a, a better play here. Um, let's activate this. All right. And we'll attack in. Perfect. All right. Uh, we're not going to play this for the land side. We're going to wait. Um, and I mean, again, they are at five, so they really need to pull out something here to be able to win. And they've only got one card in hand. Perfect. 
Uh, now they can flash that back, but there's not a ton uh, that I think they're going to be able to do here. I think we might be okay. <laughs> yeah, I think we got it, guys. Uh, that was a that was a scary game, though. That was a very scary game. Oh, perfect. We'll just gold span dragon. Um, that is a terrifying game, truthfully, because you never know when a dragon's approach is just going to come in and and beat face. So hey, we did it. We got it, guys. Game one is down with a win. Let's jump into game number two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. Uh, and yeah, I mean, this is a keep. It's nothing too crazy, but it does give us uh, some plays here on two and three. So I'm very happy to keep this. Hopefully we can ramp into that gold span dragon off the Prismari command with the treasure token. Uh, maybe get that out on turn four if we can draw a land. We do have the expressive iteration to help us there. So feeling pretty good with this one. Uh, the, the Burning Hands is obviously helpful as well, depending on what we find we are uh, up against here. And I think... Yeah, I think we're just going to foretell this. Now, this does keep us off of the Burning Hands, and they are a green deck, so that is something to keep in mind. But that's actually fine. We're not worried about the, uh, the Eye Witch here. All right. Um, so the question becomes, would we like to... Uh, Prismari Command here, or Expressive Iteration, to try and guarantee that uh, fourth land. I'm going to Expressive Iteration. I could go either way, to be honest. Uh, I, I could see a very strong argument for either way, but uh, I think this is better. We're going to throw that into our hand. That seems quite good. That's going to go into our deck, and we're going to play out the Hall here. Uh, obviously does come into play Taft, but doesn't really matter for us anyway. We do not get the turn four uh, Goldspan Dragon because we did not Prismari Command, so that is something to think about. But we, it looks like, have plenty of other options here. So, uh, interesting that they are not attacking. I think we're just going to wait. Let's see what they do. Uh, they might be trying to leave up like a village rights-ish kind of deal uh, to to get around this, but they're still not attacking. Very interesting. Okay. Um, well, we're going to then force the issue. We're going to create a treasure token. They good game us. Is that a thing? Uh, so this guarantees the gold span dragon, which is great. All right, they sacrifice it. They get a little extra stuff. That's fine. <laughs> but that is not going to save them, thankfully. They drew a lot of cards there, though. Uh, worth noting. But I'm glad we waited till then. Um, all right, let's get the Goldspan Dragon down. We'll auto pay here. This is going to let us leave up any of our two mana spells here as well, uh, which is fantastic. Um, Unless they can just instant speed kill it, which they probably can. All right. We still at least get a treasure token, so that's kind of okay. Um, I think we will take the opportunity to foretell this. Uh, we'll auto pay here. That cheapens this up. So what that allows us to do is counter uh, anything and then also leave up one of our two mana burn spells. So for efficiency's sake, for the later turns, I think that that's the correct play. Um, Certainly could see an argument elsewhere or in a different direction, but I feel like that's probably correct. Um, utilize it while it provides two mana, I think, is very important. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's fine. There's a smoldering egg. Uh, I do really like that. Let's go ahead and throw that down here. Uh, we're going to leave up the counter. Kind of losing out because we're not getting lands here, uh, which is a little frustrating, but... It is what it is. Let's see what they've got. If they want to try and kill the Smoldering Egg with a, uh, a Grasp, maybe? Something along those lines? That's fine. Uh, we have to then debate if we want to counter that or not, which I think we would. Um, uh, that, I think we can counter. Yeah, let's get that out of there. The reason being... Um, we really don't want them to be drawing cards here. Uh, anything that we can do to kind of slow them down like that, that's a that's a pretty heavy heavy swing where they get a treasure token and two cards. Now, Asika's Chariot might have been a better call to, to kill, but we actually have the Prismari Command in hand that can, can deal with that, as well as at least one of these little cat tokens. So, perfect. Okay, uh, that's very helpful. So what we can do now... 
Uh, yeah, I think we'll just wait. Uh, hopefully they activate the chariot this turn. That would be the expectation. Um, in response to doing so, we then get to destroy it, but they've then tapped two of their creatures, so we theoretically don't lose as much uh, life here, so... <laughs> That's also going to throw at least a few counters on the Smoldering Egg here. Smoldering Egg, really cool because it's very reminiscent of uh, of the Thing in the Ice, uh, which is kind of a cool little card here. Um, perfect. So here we go. We get to deal two damage, destroy target artifact, or actually, instead of doing that, let's create a treasure token and destroy target artifact. So we get that and we blow up that. It's going to throw three counters here. This is going to create the treasure token, which allows us to all runs epiphany. That's also going to then activate this. Uh, so I think that that's definitely worth it. Uh, alternatively, I suppose we could burn something and get it to flip. Uh, that does also work. Do we want to do that and take the risk? Um, I'm going to say no. We'll take the one. I want to get the, the epiphany down because then there's very little that they're going to be able to do here. Okay, uh, yeah, we're just gonna go for it. We'll auto pay here. This Once this flips, if it does flip, they could kill it, but it looks like they're not going to. Uh, this just allows us to then start mowing down a bunch of their stuff. Um, we did have some issue with lands here. Oh, they are gonna kill it, okay. Fair enough, uh, we burned the grasp though, so, that, oh wow, um, that's funny. Uh, I really wish we had another land here. Uh, so I think the play is just going to be to scry two, draw two. We really need lands. Um, and we need that land in particular. I'm going to throw the other one back though here. Okay, I'm glad we did that. Uh, let's get the red land out. Let's throw out the smoldering egg again. Uh, because obviously we are going to want to uh, block a little bit here. And we'll attack in for two. There's no real reason not to attack in here. Yeah, we can take a little extra damage, but uh, theoretically, at least, we'll be able to deal with most of what they're playing here. The Exhibition, very scary card for sure. Um, but truthfully, not as bad as you would expect because we do have so many things that can, can just mow some of this stuff down. Smoldering Egg in particular is going to be quite good there for that. Uh, and they do only have one card left in hand, so I'm feeling a little better about our position. Oh, perfect. Okay. Goldspan Dragon is quite good. So, uh, let's do this. We're going to choose a dragon or reveal a dragon. We're going to deal here. We'll reveal this. That's going to take this out. That also obviously puts a couple counters there. That's good. Perfect. Um, and... I guess we just wait on the rest of it. I guess we even could have waited on that, but um, we'll say no attacks and we'll see what happens. We're kind of taking the slow safe path here, uh, and I don't know that that's 100% correct because we are trying to flip that smoldering egg, but um, I think that that's okay. We could have just played Goldspan Dragon, shot it for, you know, or attacked in for, the, for whatever, and then been able to play a spell off of that, but I think this is okay. Worth noting, we do have the Hall of the Storm Giant as well, so uh, we do just have a giant 7-7 that we can attack with at some point. Uh, and we do have enough mana to, to activate that. Uh, this is great, actually. So we can kill this. Um, and in fact, we'll kill this. Yeah, easy. Uh, this deals six if the, the creature is green, that turns it into a green creature. <laughs> so they just kind of wasted their turn doing that, uh, which is great by me. Um, I think we're going to end up just blocking as much as we can here. This saves ourselves as much damage as possible. I don't want to give them the learn trigger. Um... This is a tricky place to be because... We can actually flip the thing. Which does seem pretty good. Let's express a iteration first. That's gonna put a couple counters here. Um there's another dragon egg. Not a bad card. Um 
I'm gonna take the counter spell. We're gonna put the dragon egg back and we're gonna take this. We're gonna throw that out there. Uh, we are gonna blow this up, I think. It's gonna flip this. And then now we can leave up the counter. Uh, yeah, we'll just pass here. So now, regardless, if they play basically anything, we counter something, we shoot one of the two twos, and they don't really have a good attack. Um, I think we let that hit, actually. There are certain things I don't particularly want to counter. They're probably going to try and dig or learn for an answer here. Uh, I think there's the five mana, you know, blow something up kind of deal that they could get. But that's not going to save them here because we do have the solid coming. Oh, perfect. Okay. That's even better. Oh, even better. Yes. Um, let's blow this up. Just going to get as many of these little guys out of here as possible. That's perfect. Um, excuse me. I had to burp there, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right. And they did not attack. That is smart. Um. We activate both of these, not quite. I am in a gold span dragon here. Uh, let's see. So we can't activate both here, which is okay. Um, although we can actually attack in, and then we've got the treasure token to do this with. So I assume they're gonna block. Yeah, that's fine. But the trick is we're getting them very dangerously close to... I mean, they're on a two-turn clock with our lands. So they do have to think of that, uh, which is fine by me. Uh, and now we actually can activate the, the den as a blocker if we'd like. Um, chances are they're going to try and kill the Goldspan Dragon, if I had to guess. Or the, the Ashmouth Dragon. Either one is very difficult for them. Uh, so I feel like maybe they're just going to try and kill it. But we'll see. We will see. Um, I like our odds here right now, though. I feel like we're doing okay. They've gained a lot of value off of their Golgari list here, but... Um, or sorry, which is Witherbloom. Excuse me. It's a Witherbloom deck. I have to remember that. Um, <laughs> the Meat Hook Massacre. Uh, yeah, you got it. Can't really do anything about that. Um, we let it hit. Does kill everything here, uh, which I don't think really plays to their strengths uh, in the simple fact that we've got some really powerful stuff and they kind of don't. Um, <laughs> so we're just going to throw this out. Deal seven. Uh, that did get them off of that two turn clock. We're going to play the egg as well, because why not? Um, so now they can kill the egg if they'd like. They've got the means to do it in hand, but it doesn't seem super great. There's an all runs epiphany as well. Uh, yeah, we're just going to play that out. That flips this, gives us an extra turn. We'll attack in for four. Uh, <laughs> yeah, perfect. Deal two here. All right. <laughs> We just needed a little while to get going. Heck yes, guys. Man, what a game. That was really, really good. Uh, let's try and go for one more. We'll try and make it a quick one, but we'll see. All right, guys, this is going to be our last game here. Uh, but yeah, this is a pretty easy keep, honestly. We, we've we got some options, so I think we definitely go for it. We'll foretell the Solid coming most likely on turn two. Ooh, or... <laughs> no, I think it's actually still the Solid coming. Um, that just allows us to counter anything, which is really important. Ooh, especially against this kind of deck. Uh, let's go for the blue. Let's foretell here. I'm assuming we might just get beaten by a Righteous Valkyrie play here. Um, it's very, very difficult to outpace a turn three Righteous Valkyrie. And we don't, while we do burn a good bit, uh, we don't really have a lot of great options to kill it here. Although Elite Spellbinder is manageable. Um, it's it's a good card, don't get me wrong, but it's manageable. So we'll see. We will see. Alright, they're going to get the Prismari Command out of there. Makes a lot of sense. Um, and get in for a damage. That's fine. 
Uh, truthfully, we can just play this and pass with the Solid coming up. I think we do have to play a bit defensively here. Uh, the Smoldering Egg really isn't going to do anything, so let's counter this. That's a good card to counter. There's a lot of long-term uh, play out of that card, so the more we can get out of there, the, the better. So that's fine. Um, opponent might be a little pissed off because they're just kind of waiting. Um, okay. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, uh, I'm going to expressive iteration here, so we kind of need to get some stuff into our hand here. Um, let's play, or let's put you into the hand, put you in the deck, and let's put you there. That allows us to play this, and I'll just go ahead and get that smoldering egg out here. We're not going to leave up anything else. I don't really want to play an iteration if we can't play a land off of it. So you really only want to play one per turn. I feel like those get slightly worse every the more you have in your hand. <laughs> um, but that's okay. All right, they're going to Blood Chief's Thirst. That's fine. And there's the Righteous Valkyrie. That's terrifying. Um, right now, I'm slightly... Well, no, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh... All right, what can we do? What can we do? Um, we can just drop a gold span dragon. That's like kind of okay. Uh, and then we can foretell this. Alternatively, we can Prismari command to deal with this. Um, I think we're just going to throw out the gold span dragon here and see what happens. Um, chances are, my hope is that they can't gain seven life this turn. Uh, if they just can attack in with the Youthful Valkyrie, that's okay. Like, if they get two cards, but if they get two creatures, chances are they, they're they set. Um, yeah, that's a good one. We're going to gain some life, get some, get some stuff. That's fine. It's not fine, truthfully. We're going to, we're going to potentially die here, but uh, <laughs> we're going to do the best we can. Ugh, I think they're just going to be able to outpower us. Oh, that could be good. Um... So we could do this for three. That's not good. Um, hmm. Let's see, what can we do here? Uh, not a lot, truthfully. Doesn't seem great. Um, I mean, we can activate this, but that's not good. Uh, Yeah, I think we drop that, and I think we just pass here. Oh, cancel. Nope, don't do that. Um, but the problem here is uh, they're kind of just good to go here. Um, we'll see. Next turn, we're just dead, so we kind of have to we have to make something really spectacular happen here, and chances are we're not going to be able to do that. Um, there's a youthful Valkyrie. We can't kill anything. That's the. I mean, we can kill the Spellbinder, but that's not that great. We do have to do it now. That's the trick. Uh, so let's kill this. We'll create a treasure. We literally have to kill it now, um, but the chance... I mean, we're just going to die here. Um, that gives them enough life that they can just attack in. And we just die. Right? Yeah, we're just dead. Man, that was uh that was a close one though. Um I, well not really. I mean we were pretty dead here, but um I feel like we did have some options and unfortunately just didn't get there. Yeah, well played by the opponent also attacking in and then utilizing the ability. Very, very clever. Alright. Uh well we did get a loss, but let's let's talk about this list. All right, so is it control? Uh, I really liked it, uh, or Prismari control, I guess I should say. Uh, but regardless, I really liked it. Um, it it doesn't have. Uh, it's very it's very focused on its game plan more so than controlling in some aspects. So what I mean by that is obviously it does have counter spells. It has burn, so it's controlling the game in that aspect. Excuse me, but the idea is very clearly like ramp into an epiphany ramp into a gold span dragon let's get that stuff going um which doesn't feel like like it's not a control deck but what that makes it feel like is that um you're kind of 
you feel a little bit more mid rangey than you do controlling. Now that all that to say, it's a very controlling deck, obviously, and so I I really think it's pretty good. Um, I do think it has an issue with mass creature decks where because you're trading one for one on your removal quite a bit uh, a lot of times it's a little bit challenging to be able to deal with what is what is on the board like in that last game where there were multiple creatures some of them had enough toughness to kind of get around a lot of our removal um, we do have removal that can deal with those things uh, but we didn't draw it and unfortunately you know that's that's all of it so uh regardless a very good deck i do recommend trying this one out is it control prismari control very very fun uh and i love just burning things out and then dropping a an epiphany or a gold span dragon and hoping for the best smoldering egg also i did want to mention pretty happy with smoldering egg there uh it always it always kind of eats a removal spell but it's only two mana so you don't feel like you've invested that much um, and you're gonna play instants and sorceries anyways, so it doesn't feel that bad. Uh, so yeah, I, I loved it. I think this is a great list. I would highly recommend trying this one out, especially if you're into the blue-red comedy. I know a lot of people love that, uh, and just control decks in general. So thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Again, please leave a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. We really would appreciate it. We've also been streaming. We started streaming here on YouTube yesterday. Hopefully gonna continue that today if we get the opportunity, uh, and hopefully you guys will come and hang out with me there but thanks so much guys i really appreciate it i'll see you again very soon